Let's pretend that today is the first day that I'm back in my office after attending a conference where I collected 50 business cards from people who were interested in my company's products and services. These five people here are going to stand in for the 50 people that I put into my Maximizer address book. Let's pretend further that I have a business process that has 10 steps in it that I normally follow when I want to convert prospects into customers. That means that for these 50 people, I have 10 steps each, or in other words, I have 500 bits of information that I'm going to want to keep track of. The last thing I want to do is keep track of those with sticky notes or some other list outside of Maximizer. Fortunately, Maximizer has what we call action plans, which address this issue very nicely. I begin by going to Administration and clicking on Action Plan Library. My first step in creating a new action plan is to click on Add over here on the right and give the plan a name. I can also put a description in here to better explain what the purpose of this action plan is. My next step is to click Add and add in either an appointment or a task. My first task will be to send an email to each attendee with information that I promised to send them at the conference. I will start the action plan today, but I will assume that I want to send that email one day later, in other words, tomorrow, and that will end up being one day after the plan start date. I don't care about the time, so long as I do it sometime during that day, I check the other fields here, they satisfy me, so I click OK. My next task is pretty obvious. I'm going to call to follow up on the email that I sent, and I will have this occur three days after the planned start date, so that they have a couple of days from when I sent the email until I call them to be able to read the additional information that I sent along to them. After that phone call, my next task might be to send them information that is more specific to their needs. I'll set that for four days after the planned start date, and again, as long as I perform that task sometime on that day, I'll be happy. And I click OK again. At that point, I might simply want to talk this over with my manager and see if he or she have any good suggestions on how I can proceed further. I'll set this for five days after the planned start date. I'll set this for 11 o'clock in the morning, which is when I usually meet with my manager. Obviously, I can add all the rest of the tasks here that will be consistent with my business process, but I think four are sufficient to demonstrate what's going on. I'll keep full access to myself so I control the ownership and content of this action plan, but I'll make it available to other people in the office if they would like to use it as well, and then I'll click OK. Now that action plan is registered in my action plan library, and I am ready to press close and then use that action plan with the attendees from the conference. To do that, I select the entries to whom I want to apply the action plan, and then I click Actions and Schedule an Action Plan. I'll choose this button here, All Selected Entries, and click OK. I now select the appropriate action plan, and I note that Maximizer has put a check mark in this box and this box here as well. This one says Set Activities as Dependent. In other words, do this one before this one, and this before this, and so on. This one over here means that if any task falls upon a weekend, for example, Maximizer will automatically push it forward to the next business day of next week and reschedule all the remaining elements of my plan accordingly. If by any means your dialog box looks like this, simply click on the Advanced bar in order to see the Skip Non-Workdays checkbox. Once I click OK, Maximizer will proceed to schedule this action plan for each of the entries that I have selected. Thereafter, I can check the Activities window for each of my people and verify that the steps of the action plan have been put into the Task and Appointments Activities window. These tasks will also show up in my Hot List window where I can keep track of how I am proceeding with each one of my entries. Since you generally can't connect with all 50 people the first day you tried to call them, it's important to know that you can click on any of these tasks down here and modify the date when that task has to be done or completed by, and you can also modify the person that you want to have fulfill that task in case somebody else in your office would be more appropriate than you. 
If I choose my assistant Miranda, for example, after I click back out of this task, I'll be advised that this task will now show up in her hot list window rather than mine. And when I click OK, I have an option to send her an email reminder of this as well. And I'll notice down in the Activities window that this task has indeed been reassigned to Miranda for fulfillment. But remember, before you assign a task to someone else, make sure you check their work days so you don't send them a task that needs to be done on one of their days off. As I mark tasks as complete, Maximize will bring up different advices. This activity has been completed one day early. Would you like to reschedule all the following ones in relation to this one? If I click OK, what was set for the 5th would come back to the 4th, and so on. I'll click Cancel and just let that one stay as it is. But let's suppose that I take this one with Miranda and she completes it early for me. I get this advice. This activity has completed three days early. Would you like to reschedule all following activities in relation to the completion of this one? In this case, I'll click OK and Maximizer immediately reschedules everything else accordingly. After a refresh on the Activities window, I only have two tasks remaining that are associated with Andrew Changemaker. And when I flip back over to the hot list, I notice that Send Email with Promised Information still applies to four of those five entries, but for Andrew, for his September 1st task, I have Send More Info Specific to Their Needs. In other words, that's this task here that's one of the remaining ones for Andrew. And I also notice Discuss Each Prospect with My Manager. For Andrew, this is now set for September 4th because it was redated after I completed early one of the other tasks associated with him. In other words, action plans not only give you the ability to let Maximize remember what has to be done on your behalf with each of your entries, but as adjustments occur with the reality of life going on, Maximizer retains those adjustments and brings things up to your attention in their appropriate schedule and at their appropriate time. This is a great time-saving tool which, if used properly, can simplify your life. Bye for now.